weekend. We were at Far West at the Prison Walker's house. We'll call him because it's, it's uh, Far West. We'll call him Joseph, Joseph Smith. <laughs> he's, our, he's our leader. So this creek here is probably a creek that, that early Mormons would come down and read their Book of Mormon peacefully by the creek, or they would build their houses around the creek because they needed water. They, they didn't have wells when they first got here, so this would have been their fresh water to drink, and it would have been fresh. Just like the day rain, rain coming out of the skies, you know, you could drink it if it wasn't for the, the atmosphere. So this would have been clean water. They would have, would have drank the water. But this is a spot that Someone to be reading the, the first edition of the Book of Mormon down by the creek, gaining their testimony. Just ran through John Whitmer's farm. This is W.W. Phelps on the corner. W.W. Phelps here. incorporated in the house. These beams here are all axe hewn beams. You can see the axe marks from the axes where they would have shaped it up. And then this is a cedar post that they axe hewned. And this was sitting on the ground. So this had been sitting on the, on the ground since 1838. It's solid because it's cedar, it weathered it. This is oak. And this oak was sitting on top of the cedar beams. And then at one corner of the foundation, these stones were there. And this was built on an old schoolhouse that was built in the early 1900s. So I didn't have any idea that this would have been in there. The schoolhouse had fallen down. And we took, as I was pushing it down to, to uh, get rid of the old building, I found these artifacts in there. So on the stones here, you can see where they've taken a, a hammer and a bit a star bit of some kind and they would have chiseled down into the stone there would have been another stone here and they did it the same distance apart almost perfect like maybe it was their their width of their their chisel they would set it make that mark and they had another mark another mark and then in the creek in the winter when this would freeze water would go down to these cracks and then would freeze and would split that brought block and that's if they could wait till winter. They, these distance here might have been enough to split the stone. This is pretty, Missouri has soft limestone. It's not strong enough to build with. So they could have split. It might have been what it took to split them. And so we have the stones that a Mormon would have made and split these stones. A Mormon built his cabin, would have ax and chopped these stones or this wood to, to make that. And then later they put these pockets in and the schoolhouse was built on top of it. I think the way this is squared up and the way these pockets were built, I'm not for sure if these weren't cut in later. I don't know if they would have, would have done it then or not. But that is some far west Missouri history, some Mormon history that we're able to put in the house. <laughs> 